Hello YouTube, I'm Tyler, and today we're going to look at one of my personal favorite bull pups, it's the IWI Tavor. This is the X95. Ain't she a beauty? It really is. She has uh, pop up sights, which is very handy to get, uh, bring with you to battle. Just in case of two uh, backup sights, which this long rail provides plenty of room for other optics, scopes. Uh, night vision accessories, uh, definitely EOTEX, uh, micro T1, stuff like that. Uh, it's a wonderful, full of real estate, this thing. These four compartments here, if they want to work, these tend to slide off. So you dispose a full Picatinny rail here and here on the sides which is very convenient for lights, lasers, just good gadgets that you might need in a combat environment. And I'm not just saying this is a combat environment weapon, but just out there hog hunting or whatnot, this is a great firearm. Well, back here, these takes anyway, this takes 20 rounds, up to 30 round magazines take this guy out which is really cool it's a standard mag release it's not back here it's not here it's right up where the users used to especially coming from an M4 platform there's something like this there's a lot of familiarities with it besides the boat release now the boat release on these guys empty mag empty gun Don't release on these guys, I'm just going to show you here. This is really cool. It's down here. There's no bolt release down here or here. Now, when you come back and insert your mag in on dry, you just come up and tap this. So you come up, and when the mag goes in, bam. Now it's ready to rock. Next round's ready to go. Fire. The safety lever. Right here where you used to. Can go on this side as well. Takedown on these things is relatively easy. Kind of reminiscent of the Air 15 in a way. But. So there's going to be two pins. One up here, which is really all you got to worry about. This one pin comes out on this side. You push it through, and pull it out the other side. There's going to be some tension coming back to this, so you just let it go slowly. And out comes the guts. This is your bolt. This is standard here, not much. I mean, it is, it's a beautiful guy here. This whole recoil mechanism is pretty ridiculous. Just, that's a great recoil mechanism. It runs all the way into the tube. Just putting it back together is that simple. about this is that this injection port and we switched over to this side and I've seen people who whip their arm up like this firing these things that injection port just hitting them in the arm and all burnt up and those are some things you might want to consider but this is a battle rifle in a way it's meant for war it's it's been for getting hard and dirty. So, I mean, it's just, it's a gorgeous rifle. I highly recommend you guys go out there and buy these. Start trading in your AR-15s and get these bad boys. You know, the Israelis, they know what they're doing very well, especially with the Mossad out there running around like <laughs> cowboys there. They definitely know what they're doing. I highly recommend the gun. I, I really can't say a single thing bad about it. 
I mean, it's just, it's easy to get up here, get close, and just shoulder, move. I, I really can't. I was never a fan of bow pups until this came along. It's just so easy to point all the weights back here, and it's not even a lot of weight, honestly. It's just it's well balanced. And with all the accessories on it, I mean, the options are endless. They do make a 300 blackout barrel for these things. So there you go on that great cartridge that I love. It's, the price point might might not like people might not like, but save up. I mean, this this thing's worth every penny. But uh, come on down to Eagle Firearms, and we will hook you guys up with this.